Well, obviously, when you read things in in a newspaper, it's it's um it's fabricated a lot, it's over exaggerated a lot. But I feel that me as an individual, I don't need to um say things about other people to make myself look better. So if I'm de- dealing with me and and, and 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 Michael Harvey, there's a lot of things I could have done right. But unless you know what goes on between four walls, can't really comment too tough because you know no one knows the whole truth. You understand? No one knows why I made that move. No one knows why I done it. But I don't need to talk about that because I'd rather be, you know, the battering stick for the public, and she can be the victim. I don't, it don't bother me. I'll take it like a man. I'll still shine. It ain't a problem. I'll still shine. <laughs> why did I get asked this question last night? Why did my mum ask me this? And my girlfriend. Really? Yeah. It was funny. Um, last night, I, obviously, I, I'm in the process of moving, and I'm sitting down with my mother. And my little, my little one and my missus. She goes, "Will you marry me, babes? <laughs> Just like cracking joke. And I'm like, no. Too much drama. It costs too much. <laughs> Boy, some of the bills that you get from divorce, man, they're expensive, bro. You know, sometimes you get a brown letter and you're thinking, nah, that must be for someone else. No, 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 no. I'm not used to these figures. You know, I'm used to £10 credit. That must be for someone else. You know what? I'm going to take my time. I'm going to take my time. The, the fact is, you know, Javine's got the biggest bond that she could have ever have with me, and that's that we got we got a, a beautiful daughter together. And it don't get deeper than that. That is marriage. <laughs> I don't need a ring to, to kind of justify that. You know, that my daughter and Javine are my life. Then my world, no woman's ever gonna be bigger than her. Simple as that. Whether they like or not, they can hate, they can say all the bad things, but let me tell you right now, she don't business because she'll still go through. All she cares about in the morning is her daughter and nappies and Karenge. So when they're all blabbering and calling her home record, she's like, they're gonna say what they're gonna say, I can't stop them. She knows herself. Since becoming a father, I've learned many things. You know, I had a... My, my, my biggest problem, I'd say, was... It ain't a problem, because I'm very passionate, and I'm a, I'm a face value person, and I don't have it, do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm a warrior, and I, I don't take no for an answer. I think the biggest thing that my daughter's done is is really contain my, my temperament and my, and my temper. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? She's made me a better person, and... That love is deeper than you can ever imagine. Because I'd do anything for her. I'm dead for her. Do you know what I mean? So, she just brought so much happiness to my life. Like, waking up at 7.30 in the morning, like, is nothing. Just, just like, when you just see a daughter just running around and it, just the progression of growing into a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, boom, walk. Sorry, crawl, walk. First words. They're priceless things. You, I, I, I've sold two million albums. Can't compare that to having a child. It don't match up. Don't match up. She's, She's changed my life. Everything. It's the most corrupt, two-faced world I've ever been in. I mean, I can't believe, honest to truth, I never asked to be a celebrity. I don't call myself a celebrity. From, I'm from SW11, South London, Battersea. I'm from the ghetto. That's where I've grown up. I know, you know, I've, everything I've got in my life, I've worked for. So when people are making me this person, it's weird. I mean, there's, there's obviously someone out there in the the, 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 um, the the celebrity media world that's trying to destroy my life. Fact is, I've got a press agent. You don't know half of it. I get a phone call probably every week of someone trying to print some type of story on me. And it, 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 starts, it gets laughable. I could be just sitting, I could be in, like, you know, I could be a monk, right? Recluse from the world, and they make up something. You'd be surprised at the rubbish that has, that has come out. It, it, it is, it's a joke. It's a joke, but there's generally someone out there that, you know... Uh, Alicia's golden bollocks to everyone. She can't do no wrong. To them, she, she's perfect. She can have that title. Yeah. And right now, let's destroy this boy. Because they don't understand how I've had all this bad press and I'm still working. Because they thought that anyone that gets press from the national media, we, they, they, they got a perception we make and break careers. So if we destroy you, you're destroyed. But do you know what? When they, the more they write about me, the more promoters want me in their clubs. Because they're thinking, is he going to turn up? <laughs> yeah, we're paying that amount of money. Is he going to p- turn up? And you know what? I turned up. I done 57 gigs last year, back to back, while girls was in there. By the time the end of the night, they're singing the lyrics. Because you can't hide from the lyrics. You all sang them, you know what I'm saying? So, don't try and hate now, because you're upset with me, you know? Concentrate on your own relationships, your own life. I'm sure there's people out there that's had affairs, that's done wrong, that's done this. The only difference is mine's documented. So, everyone sits there, and like I said, everyone turns preacher all of a sudden. But they're doing the same thing. And they sit there in the paper, bastard, this, that. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's hypocritical society, man. I, I look at people and I say, you're just hypocrites. You're hypocrites. You, you all must be vicars and, and nuns. 
Because boy, I'm, I must be a devil then. It's a knock-on effect. When you write things about that, that about me, then my brother's got to go to school. Kids coming up to them, giving them magazines. My mum's got to go to work. Her son's famous. The repercussion, it, it kind of... I don't get upset about being about me. I get upset seeing my family upset. That will make me want to kill people. Because it's a knock-on effect. You know, and my mum hearing these things about her son. And then she's thinking, mate, look, all the work that you've done in the last 12 years for this industry, the things, anything that you've done, you've, that's, you've done has been groundbreaking. But that's just forgotten. So you've gone from so solid star to actor shooting Hollywood films to a love rap. So people just forget everything in the space of one article. Do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, I, obviously I was going to get that pressure up because I was probably the only, probably one of the first black celebrity couples that this country's really had that they could look up to. I understand. I understand the pain. So black people was like, no, nah, that's our couple. Nah, he's a prick. So I understand their, their kind of things. But then when they, everyone sat down, they understood. They thought, ah, shit, shit happens. It's happening right now as, we, as we're sitting here now. Someone's heart's getting broken. Someone's warring. Someone's being happy. So that's just the way of the world, I'm afraid, my friend. The reason why people should look into the brothers is because it's big, it's groundbreaking, the ratings are going to be off the chain. As I said, you've got Chucky Venice, Dark Knight, Batman in there, you've got myself in there, Jason Barrett, Undiscovered Talent, Michelle Gell, who, God knows how she ain't still acting on bigger shows, because she yams up some actors out there. Some of you actors are nicking a living, yeah? Kelly Bryant, in Eternal, you want to see this girl act, she's fireworks. It's just a talented cast, and Angela Mars' writing skills are as good as Tyler Perry. That's why she's in Atlanta with Tyler Perry right now, writing the brothers too. Better you know that.